Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, my name is Palista Vita Afriana I'm from Studio High School 5 from Tapat And today I would like to tell you a story about The Legend of Situ Prefidit Please enjoy! A long time ago, at a village, the land of this woman named Nebakanit. She inherited her will from her last husband, although she had no children. Nebakanit was obsessed with her riches and becoming poor. I have more gold and jewels than anyone else. Why should I share it with these poor villains? They are not my problem. Nyebakenit was known as a cruel a service woman. She loved sewing of her well and never helped those in need. When villager borrowed money, she charged her high interest. If they couldn't repay, she took their home, homes and belongings. One hot afternoon, an old beggar appeared in the village. He walked slowly and searching food and salad. The bigger approached a farmer who was sharing his crops. Excuse me, sir. Can you help an old man like me? I am hungry and need some food. How can I help you, sir? Can you tell me where the rich person is the village life? That is the beginning house, but be careful, she is not king. The beggar nodded and made his way to the beginning house. The beginning was busy, counting her coat in her yard. When the beggar arrived, a hobble asked for help. Can you give me some food and water? I'm starving. Go away, you was old man. You deserve my after all. Leave now. He's still up being side. The old girl smiled. He found that his walking stick in the crowd and sighed. Very well. I will like, but before I go, try pulling out the stick from the crowd. <laughs> That's easy. I can do it with help. Yeah, but I need to have the stick and pull, but I did it more. See us, but his. But still, I wore the belts. She called her servants, but none could pull it out. The obligers then step. Let me show you. With a simple pal, the old beggar knocked the stick. Suddenly, water began to gas from the crown with the stick handbag. The water grew stronger and faster, flooding the entire village. Sorry, the last I say was Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.